basically I did determine that uh, it was more than just uh, the stuff I had written on the on the blog that was stolen to me by the Czech police uh, it does concern also USB keys memory sticks in Zgirš in Poland Zgirš and police have planted a local print shop with the viruses um, actually I was told this thing they're gonna do in advance because they're not supposed to have audio files and stuff like this uh, important files like this on the USB keys but remember I was inside of the immigration center and remember what the stuff that went on even like this uh, so as soon as I would go to this uh, lady not too far from the police station in Zgirsch, uh to the print shop she was affiliated with the police the only thing that happened was the USB keys were packed uh, with the viruses on what I have proceeded toward a library in Zgirsch, and the only thing that happened was the asset security feature installed on this public library computers this was actually in year 2000 and 2019 it was 2019 sometimes at the beginning of the year I think um, the only thing that happened was the USBs got locked basically it indicated there is like a zero bytes uh, it the asset security feature have locked those USBs of course the files still stay there uh, and I would not touch those USB keys there was like a lot of files there there was like I have no idea maybe 128 gigabytes of files stored audio files stored in those USB keys uh, memory cards were stolen along with it more memory cards and five cards and two telephones that I have reported to the police uh, I am very sorry I did go uh, to the Czech police when the telephones were stolen it really really angers me uh, I don't want to think about the Czech police I am actually in trauma and today is already October the almost October the 6th it is I'm in trauma folks uh, I am traumatized uh, Czech Republic just like Americans said it's better that you don't even go inside of the Czech Republic because they anticipated Czech police to do that Andrei Babich to do this uh, I have not managed to preserve anything about the Czech Republic uh, the people in area of old Bokumi in those first days uh, that I have identified on the other side of the Czech border uh, but the main stuff from the gas station uh, from the fire station in the old Bokumin uh, when I literally talk get confirmations from the firemen about the fire station renovation about my identifying from the outside fire station on the inside uh, pointing out basically where the what is inside on the second floor uh, my actually pointing out across the street what happened with the property where the horses all that stuff along with the uh, new Bohemian police uh, recognition on the side doors and stuff like this buildings um, identification of the um, building in a new Bohemian all that the entire city that I have gone of the new Bohemian everything was stolen by the Czech police and for that very reason I will go ahead and I will really press extermination genocide charges against the Czech Republic because of which I deem I have lost 26 years of life I think that Czech Republic wanted to exterminate me they wanted to kill me uh, and based on the stuff they have done to me in the Czech Republic uh, I will press against the Czech Republic the worst I can possibly press at the European Union Court for Human Rights 
so it's not going to be against the Poland um, but I will push this against the Czech Republic so that the Czech Republic can arrange all this between they can come closer to the Germans because this is I guess for Donald Trump whose children are half Czechs uh, they have done they have, they have committed themselves uh, the Czech police did Czech, Czech Republic did nothing good to me it's I'm going to repeat the same thing like Americans said don't even go to the Czech Republic you're better off without going to the Czech Republic today I feel that you would be better off not even go into the Czech Republic. I cannot explain the hatred I feel that the Czech Republic has toward me. It's actually immeasurable. I think that the hatred the Czech Republic have toward me is, um, I'm going to repeat the Andrei Babic's words, we did such and such things to the Czech people, and believe me, I have seen stuff that would, well, people died, people end up crippled, people end up with their children disabled, born children disabled, people end up with uh, holes inside of the throats, uh, it's what they have, we have done to our people, it's basically we speared you because you're not Czech, basically. But the thing about it is, I'm not. And the Czech Republic is going to explain to European court, to other human rights organizations, why I was brought to the Czech Republic. For me, to me, they don't have to explain anything. To me, it's clear. Somebody's going to pay for it, and this is going to be a Czech Republic. This is the one I'm going to get. Andrei Babic uh, is going to be charged with a murder. His wife, I know, from year 1995. She was a secretary and somehow had made a decision to marry her, to choose her. He had several women and had decided to go along based on my, uh, my personal um, interests I expressed in her. This is how far this thing goes. Uh, I'm not a Czech, I'm American citizen, I'm Slovenian. And so the question the Czech Republic is going to answer, what was I brought to the Czech Republic to? I will not be answering the question, why have I come to Czech Republic? It's time for the Czech Republic to answer the questions. This was uh, recorded on October the 6th, 2020. I will not be publishing anything about the Czech Republic because I think that uh, it does more bad than good. I am emotionally traumatized, broken down because of what the Czech police did. I am completely broken, destroyed because of what Czech police did. 